Hi everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video because this is an important message uh, for those of you who are interested in purchasing this bracelet. Um, those of you who are interested um, in getting more information about this bracelet, well, I'm going to share with you some information about this bracelet. And um, for those of you who also wear similar bracelets to these, um, this message is to warn you. Um, you know, this is a war between good and evil. This is a war between God's kingdom and Satan's kingdom. And I am on God's side, so I am in God's kingdom. And um, this bracelet, along with the other bracelets that are part of this bracelet, um, are part of the satanic kingdom. And I'm sharing this information because I want to keep you, uh, whoever is, is wearing this bracelet and whoever is interested in purchasing this bracelet, I want to warn you because I don't want you to fall into bondage, okay, under, under the devil, under Satan's kingdom. So if I pause, um, it's because, you know, someone came in the staircase because I'm here in the staircase, so um, I don't want people to hear my message, only those who are viewing this video. So this this bracelet came from uh, came from an ad. The idea of, of actually the first time I encountered this bracelet was from an ad when I was watching a YouTube video. It popped up uh, when I was watching a YouTube video, and it it really sparked my curiosity. So I went into the ad and I went straight to this website where they sell um, they sell this bracelet. Um, I was reading the information that was provided in, you know, in the website for this bracelet, and it really, um, it really was shocking to me because of the amount of people who are interested in purchasing this bracelet, and the truth, and the truth behind this bracelet. Now, this bracelet, um, I don't have a picture of it, so I drew it out, and I'm sorry, I don't have the best drawing skills, but. Just to give you an idea as to what it looks like, you can also look for it yourself um, as to what it actually looks like. Now, this is by Buddha Power Store. This is by Buddha Power Store. Um, this is um, an online online store, okay? And they also have a Facebook, and they have several websites where you can purchase this bracelet. Um, you can also get similar bracelets off Amazon. So I'm telling you not to purchase this bracelet. I'm wanting you to not purchase this bracelet. Now, I'm telling you the information as to where they're selling it because um, as to warn you not to purchase it in any of these websites. www.buddhapowerclub.com, support at buddhapowerstore.com, www.buddhastore.com, sale.com. BP, the bpsclub.com slash Buddha Power. These are the websites where they're selling this bracelet. And I'm wanting you, again, not to purchase this bracelet. Now, this bracelet is called the Feng Shui Black Obsidian Bracelet. The bracelet is called Feng Shui Black Obsidian Bracelet. And it, this bracelet is, it has a Pixu head, which is a, pretty much is a demon a demon idol on the bracelet. It looks like a dragon. Um, it's similar to a dragon. Like I said, it looks like a dragon. Um, and it has black obsidian beads because it's made from, from black obsidian stones. It's coming from black obsidian stones. And so basically it is a black bracelet with gold because the pixel head has the gold. It is, is in gold with two beaded gold um, with two gold beads that is part of the bracelet. So I'm going to give you an image as to what it looks like. It looks like this. Okay, this is a pixel head in the center. It's made of gold. They say it's 24 karat gold. And then you have the two, uh, the two golden beads that are part of it. That it has also a, a, a symbol on it. And then it's 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 um it's it's uh, added to that are the obsidian beads, which is made of black obsidian stones. Okay, it's made of black obsidian stones, and it has symbols on it. Okay, 
So I'm here to warn you not to purchase this bracelet, not to wear this bracelet. Do not purchase this bracelet, do not wear this bracelet, do not even touch this bracelet. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is serious because this is a warning from God to tell you that this is going to put you into bondage if you wear this bracelet. It's going to put you into spiritual bondage if you wear this bracelet under Satan's kingdom. It's going to put you into spiritual bondage and you're going to get demons attached to you if you wear this bracelet. I repeat, if you wear this bracelet, you're going to get spiritual demons attached to you. Okay? And it's going to cause problems in your life and in your spirit and it's going to keep you it can keep you in bondage and you're going to need deliverance if you wear this bracelet now it has an appearance of people say it looks very pretty it looks very well made it is very nice bracelet it feels good when they put it on it makes them feel calm when they put it on it makes them feel good it has um worked for them they have they have said that it has um that it has kept them from having problems in their life. No, that is a deception. It is a deception because the devil comes to you as an angel of light. The devil comes to you as an angel of light and he's trying to deceive you. It's only on the surface. It's only a deception. But the truth behind that is when you wear this bracelet, you are getting demons attached to you. You are filling your spirit up with demons when you wear this bracelet. And so I'm warning you not to purchase, touch, nor wear this bracelet, okay? And um, again, this is called the Feng Shui Black Obsidian Bracelet. And this is designed by <clears throat> Master Chi. This is designed by Master Chi, who is a man who is filled with these demons that caused him to design and make these bracelets to uh, propagate this bracelet to cause people to fall into bondage when they wear this bracelet. Now this, this, uh, this Asian man has serious demons, um, idol temple demons, that had influenced him in designing this bracelet. And I'm saying do not, do not purchase wear this bracelet, okay? Do not purchase this bracelet. Um, now, one of the things that they said is that it improves energy flow. It gives better feng shui, and combining the and, and, and having the bracelet combined with both gold and 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 the pixie head and black obsidian stones would cause more energy. I mean, would cause more positive energy. Would cause better feng shui. But no, this is a lie. And it's a deception. Again, it's a it's a lie and it's a deception. Okay. Because the devil wants to deceive you, and he's trying to make you believe that it is good for you to wear this, that it'll give you positive energy, that it'll remove negative energy, but it's a deception. It's not true. And so it also says here that it is popular, the Pixu, which is also known as the Pi Yao, which is the, the Pixu head, which is in the center here. It has horns. It looks like a dragon, uh, similar to a dragon with horns. It's called Pixiu, also known as Pi Yao, also known as Demon, because there's a demon behind that Pixiu head. There's a demon behind the whole bracelet, but also behind the Pixiu head. And um, it's not only a demon attached to the stones, but also to the Pixiu head, um, also to the gold that is on that, because it is idle. Because it is an idol of gold. It is gold from idols. And um, meaning that the gold is part of the idol. And so this will cause the, the idol spirits, the idol demons, to attach itself to the wearer of this bracelet. So, um, or to the owner of this bracelet. So it says that the popular among business people, investors, it is widely widely regarded, okay, and gamblers in, in Asia. It is widely regarded as a dominant attractor of money. Yes, it's a deception because when they say that it's widely regarded as a dominant attractor of money, the Pixiu head in the middle, um, the, 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 the idol that's in the middle, 
um, that is a false. It's not a dominant attractor of money. It's rather a dominant attractor of evil spirits. It's a dominant attractor of demons. And so this is a deception. It is not a dominant attractor of money. It's a lie. It's a deception. So then it goes on to say that the black obsidian, known as a very powerful and creative stone, increases self-control and for and forces facing up to one's true self. This releases imbalances and negative energies. A lie. This will attract negative energies because it attracts demons and evil spirits. So that in itself is negative energy. It'll make you imbalance. It won't release imbalance. It will make you imbalance. Because when you are filled with evil spirits and demons, as a result of wearing these these um, demonic objects, these demonic, as a result of wearing these demonic um, objects, cursed objects, okay, because it's a part of the idol temples, and God says that it is an accursed thing, mentioned in Deuteronomy, it is an accursed thing to wear such things and to put and to take such things into your house. Okay, so it says here that that it uh, increases self-control. No, it doesn't increase self-control. It's a deception. It's a deception because when you have evil spirits, you'll be doing things that you never even imagined you can do, and you will be out of your true self because you're going to be inhabiting with evil spirits in your body. So no, it does not increase self-control. It's a deception. It's a lie. So someone said who had purchased this that it keeps the negative energy away and that it feels calm when wearing it. It's a deception. They're going to make you feel good when you wear this. They're just deceiving you, okay? Because the truth is behind this, making you feel calm when you wear it, they are attaching themselves to you and they want you to keep wearing it. They want you to keep, uh, to keep wearing it. So they're going to try to make you feel you know, deceive you by making you feel that this is the right thing to do, that this is the right thing to wear in order to deceive you because they want to stay attached to you. They don't want you to take it off. They want you to keep it on. So it's a deception, guys. It's a deception. All right, so the designer had mentioned that you should, that you should wear it, number one, on your dominant hand. To wear it on your dominant hand with, 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 with the hand that you write with. Obviously, because maybe the spirit attaches itself to the hand and to the arm, uh, but I believe that the spirit can attach itself to your whole body. Um, but this is, again, this is something that is dangerous to wear. You should not wear this, I'm telling you. It's saying that he said that you should touch it before wearing it, touching it frequently. This is letting it know that you are the master, the owner, and that it should assist you. You know, this is also a deception. Because the demons want you to wear this object, I'm telling you, because they want to stay attached to you. So whether it be by wearing it or even by touching it, as I said, all you need to do is touch it once, and you can get a spirit attachment. You can get a spirit attachment. Don't touch it. Don't touch it not even once. Don't wear it. Don't stay away from it. I'm telling you, stay away from it. Okay? So, and the head of the pig suit, make sure that the head of the pig suit is face outward so as to draw net energy from all directions. Now, this is false because even if you were to wear it in any direction where the pixel head is outward or inward, it doesn't matter. It's still, you're still gonna get that spirit attachment. And it's not gonna draw in positive energy. It's gonna draw in more demons. I'm telling you, don't wear it. So again, uh, finally, it doesn't give you positive effects as it mentioned. And the more Feng Shui bracelet you wear, the greater the, the, the chance of positive change in your life. No, negative, not true. The more Feng Shui bracelet you wear, the greater the chance of you getting more demons in your life and more problems in your life. And in the end, you're not going to have a positive change in your life. You're going to have a negative change in your life. So please, I'm telling you and I'm warning you, coming from uh, the kingdom of God, coming from someone who is following God, coming from someone who is part of God's kingdom and who is on the people's side, do not wear this bracelet. Because if you wear this bracelet, if you touch this bracelet, if you wear this bracelet, you will get spirit attachments. You will get demons. I'm serious. And then you're going to have this big problem. You're going to be spirit, 
spiritual bondage, you're going to be in big trouble if you wear this. Okay, because those idol demons are seriously strong idol demons and it'll take a lot of time for you to get deliverance. I'm telling you to keep you, to warn you, to protect you from getting these spirits attached to you. And Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to, to the Father except through him. If you want to trust in anything, trust in Jesus Christ because he will give you truth and liberty and freedom. Okay, but these things, these cursed objects, and anything that has to do with the satanic kingdom, because this is part of the satanic kingdom, will not give you freedom. It will not help you. It will not prosper you. It will not give you positive outcomes in your life. Quite the contrary. It might look like that at the beginning, but at the end, there's something very sinister behind wearing these things, I'm telling you. And at the end, it's going to cost you your soul. Wearing these things can cost you your soul. Because you are putting yourself under the yoke of Satan when you wear these cursed objects. You are putting yourself into the hands of the devil when you wear these things. Okay, and you're asking for help from the wrong kingdom. You're asking help from the, the, the devil when wearing these things. You're not asking help from God. So if you want help, if you want prosperity, if you want freedom, if you want health, good health, if you want positivity in your life, pray to Jesus Christ and accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, call in the name of Jesus Christ, and he will more than gladly be wanting to help you. So I hope you, I hope you heed my message. He that has an ear to hear, let him hear.